Chronicle Short Move Review. Andrew has a bit of a troubled high school life. The other students make fun of him, his father is a drunk who beats him, and so he decides to document his day, and in general just start to film everything, sort of to put a barrier between himself and his life. His one friend is his cousin Matt, who sort of looks out for him. And together with Steve, the quite popular high schooler who's running for like class president or something like that, they find this hole in the ground emitting strange sounds. That's what Rush Limbaugh's joke here. And they go to investigate as the only three teens because the movie needs them to. Yeah. Yeah, that's one of the few gaps in the writing. Down there, they discover something that gives them telekinetic powers, which allows them to fly, pull silly pranks, and levitate the camera around for, you know, allowing for crane shots and them flying around with the camera and so on and so forth. And over time, of course, Andrew's troubled teen existence is, you know, brought to a boiling point because of these new abilities. Who And he is, by the way, the strongest of the three, clearly, with the powers. This is a really engaging film, and it... You know, it's quite tightly edited. It utilizes the... It's more of a POV film than a found footage film. And it, you know, it'll cut to other cameras, especially during the climax, where, you know, obviously everyone has cameras today on their cell phones and whatnot. So, yeah, it cuts back and forth between... And yeah, no, it is not explained who actually sat down and edited this thing. You know, you're not supposed to think about that. This does have the advantage over several of the other POV slash found footage films in that the camera operator is actually seen and is a genuine character here. He is not just that awkward character who just has to be there since someone has to be filming all of this. The camera is passed around. The effects are excellent. The acting is quite good for, you know, uh, relative newcomers, at least I haven't seen any of these people in anything else. The writing is quite good. Every character is psychologically credible and, you know, tends to evoke your sympathy. Even the abusive drunk father, you know, he used to be a fireman and now he has to collect uninsurance and unemployment. And he, you know, he isn't making an, he that isn't enough money to pay for his dying wife's medication. So, you know, you can understand why he's, you know, getting out of control. The, the story structure is quite good, and in general, it's, it's a good story, you know, really keeps you engaged throughout. Yeah, it's, you know, it's tense, it's dramatic, it's fun, funny, it's a really good film, and, you know, really impressive that they actually managed to make, make this. It, I believe this was actually a low-budget movie, somehow. If you like this review and want a more detailed one, check below. It's there as a video response. If not, it'll be in the description box. Please rate and comment, and hey, if you like this video, that subscribe button's just waiting for you to click it.